Hey girl, what's up? It's me, your alter ego. Mm -hmm. So, I see you having little problems. Let me enlighten you. Remember, you were put on this planet for a reason, girl. Do not tolerate or accept what you are not deserving of. Remember, this is your life and you are in charge of what you do with it. Peace. Playing small is of no service to you because it limits your abilities, how you think about yourself, and dims your light. Hello llamas and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gisela Murillo. Happy New Year everybody. Feliz Año Nuevo. We are officially in 2021. I know 2020 was a crazy year and honestly it's okay if it wasn't your year or the year to be claimed as long as you keep working on yourself and make room for growth the fact that you're here is good enough okay for today's video topic i wanted to talk about playing small and how to stop playing small and give you some tips on how to play big so you can win and really live that life that you are deserving of. First of all, have you ever felt like this? Self-criticized. Self Doubtful. 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 Quitting. Quitting. Fear of Fear being of seen. seen. Holding, Holding back. back. You freeze. You freeze. Playing small is of no service to you because it limits your abilities, how you think about yourself, and dims your light. Now, I'm not saying that this is the time for you to think arrogant or for you to claim to know it all, but rather using your weaknesses to strengthen and discipline yourself to live the life that you want. I want you to know that there is a difference between improvement being humble and playing small. Playing small means you're okay being in your comfort zone. It is short term security or the illusion that you have things under control and it's not helping you gain the life that you want because you are just settling. In life, you will get what you tolerate. For most of my life, I was told, oh, you should do it this way because it could be perfect that way or you are too dumb. Why are you thinking like that? You are not going to get anywhere like that. For a long time, I started to really believe that, well, maybe I shouldn't believe in my abilities. And when I do things, I'm a person that puts so much heart and passion into every mini project that I create. And I'm always open to learning new things. But when people talk to you this way, you can't help but doubt yourself or wonder if you are good enough or not. But you have to remember that you are the person in charge and you have to believe, I know that sounds cliche, but you have to believe in your ideas and carry them forward. You need to begin to trust because ultimately when you trust yourself, that is how big things happen. Sure, it's hard sometimes, but what is life without its ups and downs? Think about it like this. If it feels hard, it's because you are going in the right direction. As Ed Milet puts it, you don't need external accolades because everything that you do requires inner work. You need to remember that you are starting a reputation for yourself. And you can honestly start very simple. Maybe you want to exercise. Okay, start small but work your way from point A, B. Don't go from point A to Z. First of all, it's not gonna happen like that. So here are some ways to help you think big and ultimately living the life that you would like. The first tip is committing to the process and also to begin. I've been living with the mantra, just begin since 2018. And look how far it's taken me. It brought me to all of you wonderful llama souls out there. So many of us try to create the perfect strategy. And while there is nothing wrong with creating a strategy of how you want to start your business, do your channel, etc., it can also hurt you because you're not actually starting anything. If 2020 taught us anything, it's that we need to let go of perfection and just commit to the process by taking baby steps or you will wash yourself out faster than you know. I remember in 2018 ooh, how harsh I treated myself for not posting on time or feeling super exhausted because 
I mostly do all my projects by myself. Bless my boyfriend for helping me on occasion, but I don't like to bother him because he has his own stuff he has to do. I remember how depleted I felt in 2018. I forgot to simply just enjoy the process of my work, of my art, of what I was trying to convey in each of my videos. Like I said, you can't go from point A to Z. You have to take point A, point B, point C. And every step, whether it's small or whether it's big, will lead us to bigger growth. Growth is growth no matter the measurement. The next tip for thinking big is thinking of your why. Now I've talked about this in several videos. Your why is important because you have to transfer your feelings on why you do certain things. I read Jay Shetty's book and there was a whole chapter on purpose. And a majority of the time, your purpose is what you give back to others. Your dharma is things that you're good at. So maybe you wanna make a list of things that you're good at and how those things can best serve other people. So for example, if you're great at giving advice of self-care maybe you want to make a whole youtube channel just on self-care and what self-care looks like physically emotionally and spiritually to people or maybe you want to have a business that is all about self-care and the purpose of all of that is is to teach others that self-care should not be neglected i know right so easy so like i was saying before think of it as forms of service to other people so as cool as it is to work on yourself understand that you will harmonize better when whatever work you do helps other people. I'm still learning honestly how to help all of you on my channel and what I can do better and also still keep my art and my videos and my learning intact. So I'm trying to balance it all out. My next tip is, believe it or not, taking time to do things that require self-care. You don't always need to be on urgent mode. While it might be necessary for some things, it's not good to suck it up and keep going. I remember when I first began my channel, I felt like I had to do things fast and urgent because I needed to show myself that I was committing. This was not only helpful, but I also felt really washed out really quickly. Learning how to put my self-care needs first, I felt more grounded in my work, and I also feel like now I put a lot of thought process behind each video that I create, whether it's doing simple things like storyboarding or writing up my ideas for talk videos, etc. Now I actually take the time to plan a little bit, research. It honestly helps to find a schedule that works best for you, because if you're going to think big you must take time to not only think but actually do what you say you will by the way if you're worried about time think of it as giving yourself this kind permission to actually do the things that you want for your service for your purpose for your dharma etc it's a kind way of giving yourself something that feeds your soul so you can give it to others you're giving yourself the permission to live out your big dreams and your plans just so you know if you do have a job outside of youtube i'm not saying go and quit your job because i understand that you have bills to pay i am saying make time and make room for creating the life that you want whether it's 15 minutes a day 20 minutes, five minutes, little steps add up to big things. Hence, thinking big, stepping away little by little out of your comfort zone. The next tip is slow productivity is necessary. So I was actually doing some research on this topic and I really like what one of the articles that I read said. It said, if you care about the quality of your life, you are going to slow down and breathe. Urgency creates chaos and rushing is not the goal, but to intently live your days doing what is meaningful or what you prioritize that is best and adds value to yourself, your life, and to others. You have to focus on your lane. You are not meant to go on somebody else's lane and it's just as simple as that. I made a video on how to slow down and why slowing down was productive. So I'm gonna put that up here. Taking care of yourself first allows the flow of the day to happen naturally. The next tip or advice is things in life are 50% cosmic energy, right? So you need to put the beliefs out there and manifestation, the universe will work with you, but the other 50% is actually doing the work. You can't wish your life to be how you want and not do the work. It just, it won't happen like that. Sorry to break your bubble. 
Again, if time is a problem, ask yourself, do I spend 15 to 45 minutes watching TV, 15 to 45 minutes scrolling on my phone, looking at social media, or is my time better invested and better disciplined if I try to learn a new skill? Whether it's something very small, like I said, like if you're exercising, begin with stretching. You can always make a little bit of room to do what you want because when you do these little goals you are again thinking big stepping away from your comfort zone instead of doing the same routines over and over again this is called taking responsibility think about it like this after you do work you can give yourself an incentive so something i like to do is after i'm done being productive i stop at a certain hour i'm like okay you did the most for today girl we did the most so now it's time to let your brain relax Maybe you can read a book, you can watch TV, you can play video games, etc. You cannot force yourself to be there forever and punch through the wall. That will make you anxious, it will make you cranky. Again, if you do not put in the work, it's just not gonna happen like magic. Remember, you are here on this earth to give yourself everything that you need. And also with this, you will notice that your productivity actually starts to increase because now you have the discipline to go out and learn or do whatever it is you need to do for your business, for your YouTube channel, for your creations. Now you have made a schedule to be productive you say this is my productive time this is my me time this is my self-care time because all of those are very important for you to move forward for you to step out of the comfort zone again think of productivity as what is most valuable to you the last tip is challenges are a sign that you are in the right path it can seem bleak at first, trust me, I know, but know that you are here to solve whatever it is you need to solve. And if you can at first, it's okay. If the problem can't be solved immediately because you had a bad day or because you just can't think clearly, leave it there and come back to it tomorrow when you feel up to it, when you can think with ease. So... Don't force it if it just can't happen at that moment. Remember, challenges are just temporary discomforts. They will make you stronger in the long run. And honestly, guys, that's what we want in the end. We want something that is long term. We want longevity. All right, llamas, I hope this video helps set you for 2021. We have to take things day by day. If 2020 taught us anything, it is exactly that. Hope you all join the community and I'll see you llamas on my next video. Bye.